welcome to Italy and we're at a little port city called Bari. It's not as well known, it's my first time here as well. I'm gonna take you on a little journey of food. So let's check out a bit of Bari. <laughs> but it's a very beautiful city that has heaps of shopping promenades, but especially heaps of food. So I can't wait to show you guys what it's like to eat in Bari, Italy. I'm gonna head down the coast as well. Uh, apparently it's known for some really good coffee there as well. Um, and also, we're just gonna eat some random foods. I really wanna check out the fruit here, so I'm gonna get a piece of fruit as well. I haven't had fruit this trip, so it's a beautiful day. Let's go. Come to a random place. I don't know what the reviews are like. I just thought we'll just sit here and order something and see how it is. And I'm really excited to order my first pasta. I'm gonna go for the carbonara because last time I came to Italy, carbonara was absolutely delicious. So let's see what this place has to offer. I've just received my carbonara. It looks absolutely amazing. It's not a really big dish. It's just got a bit of a um, bacon and some sprinkled cheese. This is like a tube pasta. Let's go for it. Mm. Mm. It's so eggy. Mm. Pasta is just maybe a little bit chewy. But I really like it. Oh, gotta go in for another one. See that bit of cheese there? Mm. Maybe slight pepper. It's not super salty. Mm. That cheese adds a really nice salty flavor. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. My first impressions, I'm impressed. I have got the, I think it's called Pachiri Ada Scampi, which is shrimp, stands for shrimp. Two generous servings of shrimp. Still got the shells on, I'll have to be a bit precarious with that. But let's go in for that pasta, what we're looking for. Mm. Oh, that's a nice flavour. You can taste the tomato, tomato in there, plus the fresh herbs on top. But it's got this really nice seafood taste. And usually I'm not a fan of seafood, like fishy taste, but it's got a really nice flavorful salty seafood taste. We've even got like a little little crab claw in there as well. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna go in for the shrimp pasta. For the amount of sauce that looks like it's on it, it packs way more flavor than it looks like. Alright, I'm gonna try that carbonara. I've got a nice generous serving of bacon on there. Mmm. Oh, it's so simple. Mm. So adding the bacon on there and that cheese definitely brings up the salt, which tastes amazing. But I think back home, if you were to order a carbonara, it would just come out swimming in sauce. Super creamy, sometimes overly creamy, but this is just simple and it's nice, cooked perfectly al dente, whereas back home they probably overcook it and it's like basically dissolving in your mouth, which is not really what pasta is supposed to be, so 10 out of 10 would recommend. Famous octopus burger here, or octopus sandwich. There's actually a competing store down there, I think that's the original. So I just strolled into the first one that I saw and look at this, it's nice and hot. The bread looks crunchy, feels crunchy, and you can see the whole octopus there. Uh, when I walked in, there wasn't any available on the uh, counter, so they make it fresh. So this was made, had to wait about 10 15 minutes, but let's go for the first bite. Mostly bread there. Oh, 
Mm. Still quite a bit of bread. <laughs> Alright, I'm going a bit more strategic. One on the side. So, tastes like a focaccia with your normal dressing and stuff like that. I still haven't gotten to the octopus. That octopus has a nice salty flavour. It's not rubbery. Most octopus that I eat, it's mostly rubbery, so it's fresh, it's definitely fresh. We're by the ocean, so that's probably where they get them straight from. Quite salty. But pretty yum. Not nothing like amazing about it. It's just a novelty eat. I couldn't help myself but get some fruit from one of those stalls there in the market and I've always wanted to try fruit in Europe and this is my first time actually and it smells so watermelon. It's so red compared to what we get in Australia. Mm. Alright. So it's a bit warm today and if this was cold it'd be a 12 out of 10 watermelon. This is so sweet and juicy, wow. Mm. Oh, so different to back at home. Maybe a bit on the pricey side, three euro, but when in Italy. some gelato so I'm gonna finish off with gelato I've got some banana and some vanilla oh that just tastes like cold icy banana mm. and yeah not too sweet this is the vanilla oh that's some good vanilla you can tell but the ice cream's good if the vanilla is good and this is an amazing vanilla. Probably the best I've had. Oh. Mm. That's so refreshing. Oh. It's not too sweet. What flavor is that? Strawberry. Or fragola. Fragola? Mm. Oh, yeah. mm. It's not too sweet at all. It's not like... It's got like a nice... Flavor. Oh, it's good. I like it. Mmm. That's out of ten. Alright. <laughs> So we're in the middle of the afternoon and it's nice and hot. There are heaps of bars around Bari and we've gone to a bar <coughs> called Barreto. We're not usually big drinkers, but I thought, why not in Italy? You've got to complete the tour with some of their classics. So we've got to order a drink, a Negroni, and also the uh, typical snacks when you go with a drink. We've got some olives and 
some things that I don't know what they are, but I'm gonna have a go at this Negroni. Ooh, that's really nice. So at home, when I used to drink a lot, I, my typical drink is Negroni, and this is delicious, really good. I'm gonna go in for one of these olives. These look like a snack. That's an absolutely delicious olive. Mmm. It's not too salty. It's got this really nice creamy texture. Mm. I'm gonna chase it up with one of these. Mm. Perfect. That's like really light on flavour, but slightly salty, but it absorbs everything that you eat. Really good. I have ordered something that I have never had before. This is called the Moscow Mule. And typically it's made with vodka, ginger beer, and some lime. So it's got a couple of sprigs of mint on there, which I really like in alcohol. So I'm gonna try this and see what it's like. Give it a bit of a mix, because you don't want to go straight to that vodka at the bottom. Oh, that's refreshing. Super refreshing, actually. That's very nice. I can't taste any alcohol. I can mainly taste the, the mint, the lime, and the ginger beer. Not so much the vodka, which probably means that they've done a really good job. <clears throat> Super refreshing on a hot day. We're here for dinner and uh, I've got my first wine in Italy and let me see. I'm no wine connoisseur but it's a very light flavour. So we've ordered a bunch of pizzas, actually just two pizzas and one little side dish and yeah I'm ready to see what Bari has to offer in terms of pizza. I've heard every pizza store is pretty good so let's go. Alright, I've got the pizza that I ordered. I forgot what the name is. Felix. It's called Felix, but the ingredients are buffalo, mozzarella, basil, tomato, and my favorite topping of all time, anchovy. So I'm not sure what the custom is, but I'm gonna go in with my hands. So I'm just gonna fold this up. It's quite thin, but look at that mozzarella and the anchovy. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I've never had a juicy pizza, but that was juicy. Oh, oh. There's a lot of sauce in there. Oh, so much flavour. Definitely very salty with the anchovies, but that mozzarella and that base soaks up everything, neutralises it, and you get this very formidable taste of the deliciousness. The crust is a bit crunchy. I don't think it's going to be a heavy meal. It's quite thin. I'm just going to make a incision here. What do you order? I actually can't pronounce it properly, but it's a stracciatella one. And stracciatella is one of my favorite cheeses. But it's also got ham on there as well. Oh, that's like piping hot. Check out that cheese. Oh, it's simple. But it's so good. See how it's nice and thin? That's what I've noticed here in, um, in Italy so far. I mean, I've only been here one day, but <laughs> things are really simple here. I think they focus on how they do things instead of adding too many flavors on there. It's just like, okay, here's three to four ingredients and then we're gonna we're gonna specialize in those ingredients. So this is 10 out of 10, nice and salty, nice and tomatoey, but then it's broken up with that nice cheese flavor as well. Yum. Is pizza better in Italy? I'm gonna say yes, compared to Australia, this smashes it tenfold. And it really doesn't matter where you go in Italy, or especially Bari, because I think these 
two pizzas are absolutely delicious. You can't go wrong with anything. So if you come by here, make a stop and choose a pizza. They're all going to be good.